Okay, we are live. Gonna be playing some Papa tonight. Uh, it's felt like doing some streaming, and um, I've been playing Papa by myself, so I thought it'd be fun to stream it. Uh, it's bad. I'm bad at it, but uh, it's a great game, and it's a great format, and I enjoy playing Magic. So we're gonna be playing Magic tonight. People can see how poorly I do, see how stupid I am, because I make the stupidest decks. And we'll see who we can play against. Um, mo gonna do mostly just tournament practice matches. This deck isn't quite ready to think to be in the league. But if we, if we get cocky and win a bunch of these matches, and maybe I face some real decks in the, t in the practice rounds, maybe we're going to a league. Um, and if anyone donates me 10 bucks, they're <laughs> going to a league. I don't think I have myself set up to even take real money donations though. <laughs> I should probably ask Eliza how to do that. She, she's smarter than I am. Uh, but uh, we're gonna be streaming and just playing games. Um, Popper is a great format. If you haven't watched it or seen Popper, it's all the commons in uh, Matters of Gathering's history. Um, means that you can't use any uncommons, rares, or mythics. They had to be printed at common at some po some point. Um, so. It's um it's very interesting format. You can have planeswalkers. You can't have some of the more powerful cards. Combo is very limited, um, and it is pretty cool that it comes down to basically the most basic aspects of Magic. It plays a lot like Magic used to play before planeswalkers. A lot more powerful cards got printed, um, and you are usually limited to usually one or two colors. Sometimes you go into four if you're playing like Tron or a really good deck. But um, mostly you see those decks like elves being powerful. Blue Delver just using counter spells, red being burn decks, green being giant creatures, and things like that. And it makes you remind you of like what magic is when you're playing casually, but in a more competitive level. And that's what really drives me into the game. Um, but um, we're gonna be playing a few games and trying to just have fun. Um, so hopefully some people can enjoy um, these matches and we'll just see how they go make a room here and we'll see how this goes okay let's see you want to keep this hand yeah this is a good hand we'll keep this Okay, let's see how this goes. Uh, I lost, so they're gonna go first. And they are playing Land of Elves, okay. Playing against Elves, we'll see how this goes. So, what you should do in a match with Elves is immediately bolt the Elf. Um, but actually, we're not gonna do that because we have a Grappler. And that means we can provoke the elf, which is even better because it's like bolting an elf every fucking turn. Uh, I'm excited about that. Stream's gonna be a little quiet though because I am gonna have to think about this. But um, feel free to chime in. I do have chat on still. Um, I will be accepting help from chat because I don't know if you can make better decisions with this deck than I can. I have been trying to run this deck to the fucking ground. Okay, yeah, this is a good start for us. He's gonna have one more elf, so we can just start killing elves. We'll save the bolt for any of the well wishers or um, the one that grants infinite mana, basically, based on how many elves you have out. Those are the most ones, the most likely ones that we're gonna have to face that are really good. So here's a cool trick. We get a free creature because we're gonna play Burning Tree. And just wash buckling onto the grappler. And then we're gonna go to combat, swing with the grappler, ability activates. Uh, we're gonna cause Lana Ward, just so we he has less blockers. And he's gonna have to block us. So this is gonna kill his elf, 
And unless he has a gut shot, this means that we are going to basically destroy his board a lot faster than Elves likes to deal with. Um, this may be game over for him. This is the reason I started using Grappler. Uh, uh, no one knows how Grappler works, so they usually just try to spam as much as they can. <laughs> like, I don't want to block him. Uh, but they they have to block him. He They die. And this really shuts down Elf's board. Elf's board. Um, they want to have as many creatures out as possible. And I have a 3-3... 3-3 provoke, so I'm gonna be able to kill anything I want with the lightning bolt up next turn. It's gonna really mess them up. Uh, I'm an evil person. I love messing up decks. And I win because he can't beat a grappler. And he has left the game. I win the match. <laughs> he quit. I, I don't you can't see it because I have the um the deck list on, but he has left the match. <laughs> okay, um, cool, I won, <laughs> he got so mad he left, that's what happens when you play practice games, people aren't taking them seriously, so they just like, I don't want to play this deck, I don't play, I don't want to play real decks, I'm not playing against Jank, I'm playing against real decks, but if you beat them, they get really upset, <laughs> I haven't got any scrub quotes on this yet, but I'm expecting to get some at some point. Okay. Well, he's not coming back, I don't think. Oh, it says he joined. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he didn't rage quit. Oh crap! I shouldn't have. I I, I just assumed he would quit. <laughs> I should have run like trickery. Okay, we're probably gonna lose this because I messed up. But um, I assumed he wasn't coming back. I got cocky there. So it'll take this game three at least. We still may be able to get it, depends on what he gets. I'm gonna Vault Scourge turn one, because we just gotta get him a damage in the air. And this is gonna let us do that. Okay, he's going for the fresh start, lots of elves coming out. Uh, so we're gonna have to beat him with damage. I don't know if that's gonna be possible. But we're gonna go for it now. So 3-3 three, three attacking in the air every turn. This may be enough. Um, we could bust this up next turn too. Our other creatures don't matter. What matters is getting into the Vulture Codes every single turn. We'll save this bolt for again a Well Wisher. Um, his infinite mana is not going to matter either. We're just going to try to get him out. Well Wisher the one that buffs. His mana is... He's going to have infinite, so... I'm not going to try to fight him on that regard. The best draw we can get next turn is a land. That means we can warp paint and hold up Lightning Bolt. Yep, and that's why we're sure we're gonna take that out. We want that Wellwisher dead. So bolt the Wellwisher. Play for Grand Cave. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and play a Seder Hoplite. I'll let us block with one thing. We're tagging with this. Okay. Leave the stampede. He's going to get himself a few creatures. That's cool. Uh, we're not too worried about that. Let's see what else he does. Main phase two. He's done. Okay. So he's tapped out for this turn. Okay. We have so many forgotten caves. I'm going to cycle this one. Because getting into the bolt would be better. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we're going to let him play something else. We're just going to put this on here. I'm not worried about losing next turn. Just gonna get him for five, six. Put him to eight. You have a really good clock on. We have another bolt in hand. This is a great hand against elves. Yeah, I may mean, win this because of this. I mean, I say that, but who knows? I could always lose in the meantime. Again, we're trying to get bolt well wishers, and there's also the one that buffs all his elves. What we are gonna be going for too. Mike's probably a little high. Let me know if um if people are getting a lot of feedback. Turn down the mic just a little bit. I have messed with the settings a bit on my, my OBS, so I don't remember how exactly it should be sounding, so.
Well, it looks like he just has creatures to play out, so I'm not too worried about this. Can we actually win this turn? Let's find out. Six. Yeah, we can win this turn, so we're going to go for the full swing. Do I do anything else? Yeah, actually... He can block the Hoplite. We're going to let him do that. If he wants to trade an elf for a Hoplite, we'll take that, because this is a win, win, win if we don't. It's a win either way, honestly. We have a ball in hand. Just wait to see what he does about this, because if I can get him to waste one more mana. Well, we're going to win. We're going to win either way. Vault Scourge 5-5 five, five in the air without any well rusher is exactly what we need. Okay, so he's untapping his mana. Let's see what he does. Ooh. Ooh, moment's piece, huh? Okay, cool. That's going to buy him a few turns. I've not seen moment's piece in elves before. We're going to hold up uh, Bolt just in case. So he has to flashback three. He's going to have five mana, so... Uh, he'll be able to moment's piece again. We're just going to have to outlive him on that regard. We're probably going to let Helgel Razor die because um, we want that two damage. That way, in case we bolt, if we draw into the bolt, we will basically win the game. We're going to just try to offer lethal this turn. He's going to moment's peace in response. Um, Actually, I can make it so he can't offer lethal. Let's see. I can stop him from moment's piecing right now. Uh, we'll kill the Korean Ranger. This is going to only let him uh, have two mana. Well, no, he's still going to have three. Yeah, no, he still has three. Never mind. I think I misplayed there. I should have killed the Land of War instead. But we're going to pay this Echo to force him to block or to activate Moment's Peace. Play the Burn Tree. That may have been the game mistake I made that will lose us the game. We're going to find out. Because he is going to Moment's Peace in response to this and he's going to have basically all the mana in the world afterwards. I would have bolted the Land of War he, uh, we would have had it. Shoot. Well, like I said, I'm not playing this game well. Not, I don't play Popper that well. I make mistakes. He's gonna have tokens. He's still out of... Still out of guides, though. So now a well rusher may win him the game because we can't kill him on this turn. What we can lead to is offer this attack and see if it goes through. I'm not going to block with the burning tree because he can block with a 3 3 in response and get a free block. Uh, we want him to kill the Hellraiser. Because that's 2 plus 5, so that's 8 damage. He's going to throw some elves at it. Okay. So now he's at 3. Well, Wisher doesn't win the game here. The only thing he can trust... He can't get Moment's Peace with that, so... His reveal cards. He has Priest of Titania, Forest, doesn't need it. Yeah, we win the match. Okay. Yeah, uh, I made a misplay, but I still won that game. So, cool for us.
play again. Um, we would like to go first. And keep. This is a good hand. Uh, you see some people playing the same decks in Popper uh, tournament practice, so I think I've seen a few these people before. I don't remember if they're playing, though. Let's see if they remember what I'm playing. I'm first, so we're just going to play this Grappler. Uh, the best thing about it, unless he's playing Burn, they usually don't go for a kill on turn two. Oh, it's black. Okay. Duress me. It's probably going to take Warpaint. Which means a Provoke is not going to be as good. But against Mono Black, it wasn't going to be that good anyhow. If he takes Warpaint, we're going to probably Burning Tree into Hellraiser. That's going to give us a lot. Ooh, take Bolt. Okay, that means he probably has Witches then. I think we still go in 1-2, though. We want creatures on board if he's playing mono black control. And we can then play Warpaint next turn. Provoke is not very good against mono black. It could be. I don't know. Marker Fury is kind of a weak card here. We don't have really the combo enablers to use it. Um, it's really good because it goes back to our hand, so we can just continually use it back and forth. Um, but uh, we don't have that, so. Okay, so this isn't mono black control, this is. Uh, Orzov Pestilence. So do we pay the cost? Yes, we pay the cost. So we still got this. So the question is do we war paint this turn? Yeah, we're going to war paint onto Burning Tree. Not on Grappler because it's not going to be as valuable. And that means he needs to spend four on a Pestilence to kill us. Or he needs to waste a Doomblade on it, which means we still have 4 power, so either way he's taking a lot of damage. It's probably why he took a Bolt though. Okay, so sacrifice creature. We'll just sacrifice the list lesser. Uh, so we're going to sacrifice the Grappler. He's not as important, and he dies to Pestilence anyhow. And look at this. Okay, so we have two more power on board. These can be wiped, but this is basically a, a, a shock here. Um, Marker Fury with a Crown Crusader means a one man or a two mana combo that one mana each turn just gives us a token. So this is a good eight, nine damage on board that he cannot Pestilence. This may be fast enough to beat him. Get Marker Fury back. And we win. Okay, cool. So what are we going to sideboard here? I don't really know. Uh, Pestilence is a weird deck. It uses... Does Pestilence even use Graveyard Shenanigans anymore? I don't even remember. Let me see. I don't even remember what Pestilence even uses. It's kind of a hard matchup for us on the draw. Because uh, they have basically removal on every single mana. They have Palace Sentinels too. They have Purge Max Strands. I think we've been in, we've been Flame Pains in because he has a few um, things that have prevention. And doing a Flame Pains against a Guardian of the Guild Pact, which has protection, is pretty nice as well as against Purge Strands. He has Tragic Slips. He has Dis Disfigures. 
Um, he has Chainer's Edicts. He has four Chainers. So Chainer's is also pretty good against us and Joiner Nowhere. Yeah, he's pretty much, pretty much all destruction. So it's better to go wide against these kind of decks. We don't need Madcap skills. That's not going to be good. And we don't want our creatures to have low toughness anyhow. Uh, I think we just have as many creatures as we possibly can, to be honest. Grappler is also not that good. He has creatures. We could... He They have a lot of defense. We can't trade with them very well. They all have... They're, they all have fat butts. Um... I don't know, I kind of want to keep him in though, just to have more creatures. He took our bolts. But I don't think bolts are actually that good in this matchup. Um, that's what, no, he has standard bear on the sideboard too. We want to kill that. Okay, I guess, I guess we do that then. Yeah, fairy macabre's not worth it. We're not going to keep putting it in. We want everything else. I think I'm just gonna make it a 62 card deck and going like this. Uh, having two more creatures is just more valuable. Um, we'll try that. And uh, let's see if they can play first or not. That popped up. That should not be there. Okay, this is a good hand for this, so we'll keep this. Gives us a turn every play. Put a little popper league here. So, if you want to pay for me to uh, play popper league, I'll put a little counter here at the bottom. If you donate money, um, I will play a popper league. I currently have five bucks, so give me five bucks and I'll play an actual league with a stupid deck. I think this is fair, right? Put you bug turn one. Okay, cool. I guess I should put like a value. How you? How do you actually pay it? I'll put a donation in the thing in a second. I'm kind of doing this as I play, so um, excuse me for being slow. Okay, we want to have creatures as fast as possible, so we're just going to play out of Vault Scourge right now. We're just gonna play a Hellraiser. Hellraisers are really good in this thing because they do a lot of damage. Until I figure out how the actual donation thing works, I'm gonna turn it off again. Hey, Tailraiser, guess what? You're gonna take two damage. is so good. Well, more, more removal. Set the league donation in a second, but uh, we'll try this real quick. 
We're just gonna play another Hellraiser. They're good. Good creatures. Okay, that's what I was talking about, protection from monocolored. Means we cannot block that creature. Or he's gonna get a free block every turn. Still gonna let a Hellraiser be out though. Uh, what do we do here? I think for now, we play another Hellraiser. We'll just let the one that doesn't have haste die and do another two to him. Okay, we'll just do this. We're for uh actually I can't do that, can I? We're gonna put this on a Hellraiser. He has protection against uh, monocolored, which means goblin can't provoke him. Yeah, this is a free block for him, but I just want to have a 5 4 out. This matchup may not be something we can win. And there comes the pestilence, which means he's going to kill our board, except for that 5 4 we have. Yep. Not a good matchup for us. I can't, I can't believe we actually won the first one. He's not going to attack, though, because I can do more damage than he can at this point. And he may be able to get us next turn, because he's just going to four mana Pestilence, probably. So he's going to have it next turn. Yeah, I think he's got us. Uh, he's going to kill our guy, and we don't have anything to do about this Pestilence, so... we can win after this. There's no way we can get a creature on board that we can keep and stay there. Probably just gonna concede after this, but uh, we'll wait a little bit longer to see. Yeah, we lose. Okay. Concede that game. 
We'll go to game three. Afterwards, I'm gonna try to figure out that PayPal stuff. Um. Yeah, I think we just have to go in fast. Go as fast as we can. That's all we can do. I can't see the way of winning. Uh, we already have it as fast as we can. Yes, we would like to play first. Oh yeah, this is good. We'll keep this. We'll get our Seder and try to get as many as we can. Okay, so we are going to play a Vault Scourge. We're actually going to fear the Bitten. Yeah, I'll hop a light. We'll just offer this. He's probably going to kill it. Yeah, I figured such. Okay, we just wanted to offer a trade with that. Keep a creature out. Play a brain tree into a Seder Hoplite. Just pass the turn on that. Sacrifice. We're gonna sacrifice. Hop a light. That way, Brain Tree survives if he plays a pestilence. But we're probably gonna lose this matchup. See what he does. Circle protection red. That's even better. Jesus. We can't even stop that. Uh, the best thing we can do is just offer multiple red sources. So I'm going to put this on here. He's gonna be taking one, but that's all I can do. Technically, we can flaring pain this, uh, but <sighs> it's gonna take a while. Yep, he's gonna offer one more. Good card. Good card against us.
Okay, one more card. And he only has one circle protection, but basically he can block one more. So uh, I'm gonna offer this again. We're gonna take. He's gonna take three. He's gonna gain one, but uh, better than nothing. He only has one card left in hand, so he's gonna be able to basically hold up this every turn, though. So we just have to go for it now and just try to get more guys than he can. Uh, we'll keep him neutral at least. He's kept neutral this turn, but he has life gain next turn. The best thing we can do is draw more things for a Chrono Crusader to get bigger. But with him having three cards in hand now, I don't know if that's going to be enough. Jesus, yeah, he's going to be keeping himself at 20 for a very long time. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, uh, we have a good attack here. We attack in, he blocks, we flaring pain, he prevents it. He made it stop this damage on the, on the stack. We force him to activate that though. This is, means that uh, it, is, it doesn't matter now, but um, because we are, we can't prevent it after Dory accident. Oh, it worked. Oh yeah, because he, he tried to protect it and it worked. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that does work. Okay, that's cool. That's good to know. We can flare paint next turn and do four, five, six, seven. I didn't know it worked like that. That's interesting to know. Screw you and flame paint anyhow. <laughs> wow, he drew Bajuka Buck the turn he needed it. Oh, that sucks ass. We would have got a big hit on there. Well, what's forcing him to use all his freaking mana? He can't stop the Vault Scourge. What he does. Shoot another one. Oh, geez. Well, we have a Vault Scourge, so we can't block these. So we have damage on board, but he's eventually going to be able to kill these with some pestilence or something. It's not worth even trying to trade him on the ground, though. The only thing we can do is overrun him with the creatures now. No, just take it. Soldier, I don't want it. Okay. Well, he's gonna be able to stop that, so we're just gonna attack with two large scourges and we get one damage in. Technically, we get two, but he, he gains one, so it doesn't really do anything. G. 
Jesus. Oop. My phone's going off. Is that better than Remorseful Cleric? I guess it is in this deck. Now, I'm actually not going to play the second Crusader because we want to keep it in hand in case he pestilences. We're not doing any damage, unfortunately. We need something to buff our Crusader and we're at Vault Scourge. Uh, now he has net zero. <laughs> okay, so we gotta get a lot of buffs on these Vault Scourges to get in. Luckily, he's not drawing anything, but I think he can outpace us, unfortunately. So you just up to that. Oh, is he going to play? Jesus, that's a lot of mana. Oh, okay, yeah, we lose. We can't beat that. Oh, that was rough. Super rough. Okay. So... We're gonna take a second. I'm gonna see if I can figure out that donation thing real quick, um, because I want to see if people want to pay me to play leagues. So, give me one sec as I figure this out. Um, it's been a while, and I do not remember how to do anything in this freaking program. Uh, let's see. How's everyone doing tonight? Hopefully, everyone's doing good. I think I'm about to figure it out. Trying to figure out Streamlabs, it's it says like here do your donations and it there's nothing here. It's just a blank page, so I don't know how I'm supposed to be doing that. Man, I suck. I should have done this before. Here we go. It just 
gave us a wrong link. Let's try another match and see if we can win some actually this time. Put the little stream bar back on. Let's see if it works. I just set it up, so we'll see if this actually works and people can actually donate to me playing leagues, but um we're just gonna be playing Pipes matches. Uh support church Grim, thank you, Frogwire. such a happy puppy I love him so much okay good hand uh, box skirts turn one or grappler probably grappler first turn because we want to put a for the bit on him turn two and try to get as many kills as we can uh, we're on play so we can't really depend on him to mulligan. again um, but we'll find out He may bolt this, but this is a pretty good waste of a creature for him to try to kill. So I don't care if he does. Make this guy really big. Carrion feeder. Yeah, this is gonna be good. Oh yeah, we're gonna kill this carrion feeder. He's gonna die. He can't do anything. To well, he can't block. He can't block. <laughs> Does that mean we can't provoke? Can't block. Can't block. Fuck. You kidding me here? Well, this is easy enough. We'll just bolt it. <laughs> we can't block his uses to us. Get him out of here. Useless. Get in. <sighs> okay, so Festering Mummy is going to do damage, but we're going to make it our guy big enough to be able to block this which is fine so we're gonna burning tree that means we get an extra creature out into a swashbuckling oh actually fear of the bed and plus vault scourges is even better what is this the red man on there Into Vault Scourge. Look at that. Look at all those creatures out. Six power, turn three. We're gonna make them block this. We're gonna make him block this because we want him to. And this is gonna become a 2 2, but it's, it'll be fine. He's gonna try to get the Vart Scourge. Okay, that's fine. I'll trade that. Let's see what else he does. No, oh, it's Name of Birds, a pretty good card. Cool. Okay, that was fair. 
We're just gonna swashbuck in this thing big enough. He can't actually name us inversion that, so. Probably should have seen the Fester Mummy though, isn't gonna go for my provoker. Ugh, wow, okay. I have not seen this build black before. I've seen zombie black before, but this is different. Uh, I haven't seen the Moron Chainers or Nameless Inversion, so I think this guy's on some good jank. Fortunately, all we can do is play Orgish Hellraiser. He's up on cards. Oh, Jesus. He's just on control. This is a really weird black control build, though. Yeah, I think he's got us. We don't have enough creatures. That's the one thing about this deck is it's kind of weak to mono black if we don't have a burning tree hand. That's really good. And I didn't expect to have to play as many creatures as I did earlier. Because you can beat him on tempo if you play them enough creatures on turn one and two. Uh, I was going for just a swing in into plan, but when you're on the play against Popper, you have to just assume sometimes you're going to lose like this, though. We'll mock a Fury this. He's probably going to kill it, but we want to offer damage. He's thinking about what he's going to do. And we're going to hold combat. He's probably going to kill it on his turn if he doesn't kill it now. He may not have um, instant speed killing. Oh, he does. He's just waiting for some reason. Why would you wait? I guess it doesn't really matter, but <laughs> why would you wait? Okay. We're not going to win this. I'd have to draw incredibly good. I'd have to draw another Orcish Hellraiser and two bolts. Not gonna happen. Not with three of his cards. He may even have life gain. Oh, with the Gary, yeah. See, now, now we now he's out of now we're out of contention for that. Yeah, this is just a mono black build. I was expecting a more zombie build. Um, maybe this is the one with the beetle, though. I have not seen this, though. Okay, we're going to keep this burning tree because we want to have more creatures on board than just one on one turn. He's on a lot of mana now, so he can corrupt, but oh, we want to offer as little value as he can for any chain of edicts. And boom goes the dynamite. Bad stuff. Okay, we keep pulling up burning trees. Three burning trees may be good enough. Though it doesn't look like it's gonna be fine. So I lose two zombies. We both lose. No, I lose. I lose just two life. He just cycles though. This is a zombie build. This isn't exactly mono black. It's usually not the same cards, but different cards. Twice? Wow. Yeah, that's game. Wow. Okay, uh. It's gonna be graveyard shenanigans. Does this deck have graveyard shenanigans? Maybe? I'm not sure if I played against this before. Okay. What 
I sideboard against this? I don't even know. I think it's better just to go in with everything we have. Madcap skills maybe out. Bring some ginger brutes, just have a few more creatures and try this. Is there graveyard shenanigans in the Kieran feeder deck? It's mostly just sacrifice effects, but I don't think it has graveyard shenanigans. Eh, probably does. I don't know. Ooh. Nope, that's not good enough. We need creatures fast. Okay, this may be fine. So we'll hop light into Crusader into Fairy the Bidden on turn two. Uh, it's gonna offer him a turn one kill, but uh, just having three creatures on turn two is a lot better than having one creature on turn one and one creature on turn two. And we're gonna offer the Hoplite first, that way he kills it, we still have Crusader plus for, so that's better. Boop. Get the guy out there. And pass the attorney. He goes for it. He goes for it. Okay, cool. Now we could still name this inversion our creature. Uh but he only has one turn to do it because we are going to get a 1-1 so he can't cause us to get Sverdicate and he's going to become a 5-5 five five the turn after so if he holds up a removal that's a sign that he may be trying to do it but we're still going to have to do it no matter what we just want creatures on the board Name is Inversion, good pick um, I think he must have I should have seen that and realized he may have had um, Incursion because he probably has a Graveyard Incursion that's why he's using Nameless Inversion now is this a... Oh, it's just a manifest card. Okay. That's for carrying feeder shenanigans. And we're just gonna go in with everything. He wants to trade for a soldier. You can trade for a soldier. I'll sack one. East side's the block 5-5. Five five. That's smart. This is going to give him a free trader, though, unfortunately. Which means we're just probably going to keep our soldiers up as sack, sack outlets. Yeah, especially if it's a festering mummy. Whew. Okay, the best thing we can draw is another buffer. Anything to give a Crowan bigger? Nope, that's not good. Okay. Uh, we're still going to swing in. We don't have an option. Waiting for him to do stuff is too, too much. Uh, he could block, block, token. But he's just going to block and then try to kill one of the soldiers, I think. Yep. Yep. Which means he may have a Geth's Verdict or something in hand because he's going to try to force us down to one creature. Ooh, okay. We need some more enchantments to keep up with his pace. Two cards in hand. Shambling Goblin. That's going to kill the last creature. We have to attack, though. We don't have an option, to be honest. Uh, we need another enchantment to give us another creature. Cycling. There we go. Keeps us ahead of the game. Means he has to block. He's gonna kill one of our soldiers. We're still gonna have a soldier. So if he if he draws Chain of Zizek plus Geths, we're still gonna lose a creature. But uh, I mean we have no other options here. What else are we gonna do? Okay, land. So he has one thing. It's probably a sacrifice effect. He may fire it off now to force me to sacrifice a soldier. We got 
big crusader. He's big and buffy. Whew. He's thinking. He's thinking about how he wants to do this. That's also good. Because we can play this out for free. Now we have an extra guy. Cool. We're ahead of the game right now. Uh, you know, two sacks, he can't kill my guy. Okay, so that's... Mm. Still a creature destruction. Marker Fairy, amazing. Free token every turn if we do this. We can keep ahead of any sack effects now. So he's gonna kill a Vault Scourge. He will definitely kill a Vault Scourge. Uh, it's, it's free real estate. But we have two soldier tokens, and we're going to get another soldier token every freaking turn. Which means that I can keep up above his pace for his sacrifice effects. And I don't think he has any... He may have um, Unmake. That would be the only thing that can kill the Chrome Crusader now. Or, um... What's it called? Uh, dungeon. Opala... Uh, 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 Opalate, whatever it's called. Obliate. Obliate. There we go. I can't pronounce that word for shit, so, um, excuse me. Excuse my not French. And we're not gonna attack the soldiers till we absolutely have to. There's no reason to. Okay, he probably has another great merchant if he's keeping that up, because he probably wants to get a, um, good amount of, uh, devotion. Fortunately, he's good enough that we can't block it, or bolt it, I mean. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna take that. He probably has a blocker for next turn, but I don't care. I'm gonna have a thousand soldiers. I can block anything. He doesn't have trample. Evercar's justice would also screw us over. <laughs> we have a lot of problems with our deck. This isn't a good matchup, but then be the splits. Um. Cool, another creature. We're gonna just make more guys, though. And now... I think we go in. Woo! We won. Okay. Game three... I didn't see any graveyard shenanigans. <sighs> Fairy Cobb is a dead draw, it's not a creature, and it doesn't buff our guys. Grappler is still good enough. Kills his guys. Ginger Brute, not, not gains life, that's good. He also can sneak under things. Yeah, we're just gonna keep it as is. Just try to stream in and get in as fast as possible. This is fast enough. Hmm. Turn run tragic slip. Turn two chainers. I think we have to mulligan this. Yes, that's fine. We'll keep this. Much better. And we're gonna put uh Hellraiser on the bottom because he's gonna be a little more mana costly than the other creatures we're gonna say to turn or ginger brew turn one probably uh wait what the f he choose to go he chose not to play first interdasting okay 
I don't know why you choose not to go first. I guess, oh, because you want to use your mana on turn, turn one. Yep. That's a really bad choice, though. I don't know why you do that. Why would you do that? Why would you... I guess he mulliganed and want the extra card? I've never seen people decide to go f first on Popper. Second on Popper. We're just going to get three creatures out. I'm not going to get more about attacking this turn. I'm not going to block. You're not going to block my guy. The least blocking you can do is better. <laughs> What's the worst you can play he can do here? Any verdict or anything would be bad for us. I'll probably just kill the ginger brute. Ginger brute's basically useless. He's the worst vault scourge in this situation. This also is black, so it can't be killed by a few black spells. I don't think he runs any camp uh doom blades or anything like that, but uh Oh, just cycling. Okay. I don't think he has a good hand. I think he kept a worse than good hand and then tried to be on the draw to try to get out of it. But. Yeah, I'll take it. I gain two every turn, buddy. Okay, buff spell is the best card we can get. That is also efficient. Look at this. Okay, so carrying feeder and a creature you can buff up to three. I think we just go for the hoplite. Just to have one more creature on board. He can't really block, but I'm not really worried about getting comboed out with a carrying feeder turn three. Ah. Two mana. Okay, you want to spend your nameless inversion on that? I guess he's worried about getting too big, but I was not going to attack with that. Perfectly fine. Dude, attacking is the worst. If you attack, you force me to spend... If you don't attack, I have to spend a mana every turn. If you don't attack me, I get a free mana every turn just to buff up my guys. Why do you... I don't know. Cool. Look at this. This is the best board you can have against mono black control. <coughs> Excuse me. What the hell is on my voice? Hooey. Okay. Get in there, boys. Man, all these die effects would be great if he had a carrying feeder. Too bad. I'm going to bolt it if he does. <clears throat> you want to keep swinging me for one? Go ahead. I'm just going to take it every turn and make my Vault Scourges the biggest boys they can possibly be. Because you're unblockable. You're unblockable. He's, uh, he's reading the card now, I guess. Do the wave. That's not the wave. Um. Yeah, he's at six. One more attack and we bolt him. He can still play Gary and get like um, four man life block back, so it'll be a ten. And then we had to do five. And if he plays Gary, I can't kill him next turn. Jam Palm does not kill me though. He's just trying to get to answers. He does not have a good hand. I didn't expect to win this. We can still lose this. Evercar's Justice next turn will kill us. Or I guess he doesn't have the mana for it now. Yeah, that's not an out. What's an out to this? I do four if he kills one guy. One.
one mana left, three cards in hand, so another tragic slip will kill one. I just do three and three. I don't think there's an out to this. I think there is a black fog, isn't there? But I don't think I've seen anyone ever run that black fog in Popper. Bolt. And we got it. Nice. Wow. I guess that's how you win against Mono Black. Just play as many creatures as you can and uh, win that way. Okay, uh, I'm gonna use the bathroom real quick and I'll put on an ad break. I'll be back in just a minute or so um, and we'll keep playing games. See you then. I am back. Keep playing games. We're just playing practice matches right now, but if anyone gives me a donation, I will play more leagues. Um, I have five bucks in the pool right now. Um, I just need five more. Um, and that will go to the next couple of leagues we play. Otherwise, I'll just keep doing practice matches and maybe play a league later in the week um, with my own money. But uh, I want to offer it to people. If they want to donate money to me doing this bullshit, um, that's fine too. Okay, we'll keep this because we have Swashbuckling Grappler. Uh, a non-tapped land would be great turn one, but we don't have the play, so we may be able to get away with a Forgotten Cave. Uh, and then just play Grappler on turn two. Let's see what they do. Snowcoat Forest, huh? Snowboggles, but maybe you get the same lands? Ooh, Boggles isn't a good matchup for us. I think we just play our Grappler anyhow. We can't provoke uh, Boggles because we have to target them, unfortunately. So... Not the best. Oh, it's, um... It's, uh... <laughs> it's Astrolabe minus Labe because you can use Abundant Growth. Okay, well this is cool too. Bye, bye, core Skyfisher. You you were nice, but uh, I don't like you, so you're going going away. Maybe it's still Boggles. I don't know. I've seen Boggles with core Skyfishers before. All of the new Snowlands look like they need to have like a giant sensor mark on them, you know? Some bad dragon bullshit going on. Ooh, Bolton. Getting frisky. Okay, so he has bolts. I don't know what's happening. But we have a combo here. A two mana, one one token every turn combo, which is pretty nice. He may just bolt it if he has bolts. <laughs> Probably gonna cycle some Forgotten Cave unless he plays something boltable.
Tribal Flames. Okay, so the Tribal, Fl Tribal Flames list. I think I played against this deck before. It was pretty sweet. Did he hit the wrong thing, though? Oh, no, he hit the right one. I, the Yarn on the Crusader and the Soldier are the same. We bolt? Yeah, I think we just bolted. Well, let's make this Soldier big, I guess. Oh, man, I should have done that first. That was a misplay on my part. Should have cycled first, got the burning tree, played the burning tree, and then put the fur of the bidden on it. Interesting. He only has two mana types, though. Bolt. Shoot. Well, I messed up there, but uh, I'm just gonna play another land, and um, I could have played the Burning Tree into Marker Fury, but I'm saying Marker Fury. I don't know why I'm saying Marker Fury to be honest. That was a kind of mess messing this up now. I'm a little surprised what's happening here. Um, I think there's a few domain strategies, but I don't remember how this exactly works. There's a card in Popper that maybe that makes every land type? I can't remember now. But Abundant Grow, of course, Skyfisher is a sick combo. It's a fair version of Astrolabe. This thing's boltable though, so whenever he wants to, you can just fucking bolt it. Or Tarvel's Flames. Let's see if he does it. Oh, he can't because it costs two. I think it's a 2 1. Can't destroy an artifact though. That would have been better in a format with Astrolabe. Dang, okay. Uh. Shoot, this is a bad offer. Um, I think we just burning tree right now. And offer both. This way, if he wants to block both of these, um, I get to kill one. Oh, he just takes the damage. Okay, he's at seven. I think he thinks he can get out of this somehow. He saw the trade and didn't think it was worth it, so. There we go. That's the card I'm thinking of, yep. So he has he now has uh, mana of every color, so it means all his domain spells are even better. Tribal Flames does five. Swamp, etc., etc. Okay. Yeah, he has a pretty good board now. You have no cards in your hand. What are you waiting for? Um. Okay, we're just gonna. We're just going to keep up the pressure and try to kill everything we possibly can. We have... Oh. He just gives up after that. I don't think I'd give up there. No? Okay. And he's done. He just left the game. Cool. He didn't want to play against my jank. He just wanted to play his jank. And, um... Huh. Okay. On the play, this hand is great. We will keep this. And, uh, let's see what happens here.
Vault Scourge turn one with a um, Goblin War Paint on turn two is pretty much game over for some decks. So we're gonna go for that play. If we see red though, we may put it onto the Burning Tree because, yep, that means he can bolt it in response. Which we will force the bolt. Oh, he's not gonna do anything. Okay, cool. He now can't bolt the creature. I don't know why he F6'd that. I guess he doesn't have anything to do it. Rectos Charm. Maybe Reanimator? Okay, so we're just gonna Madcap Skills this. Let's get him for eight. And play Crusader. If it's Reanimator, um, we have enough things to sacrifice. Nope. Okay. Good thing we put War Madcap on there. Yeah, I'm just gonna offer this. Okay, he can get Crusher back, but he still loses if he does. Did he give up? Like I said, in the practice matches, people just give up to Jank. They want to play their jank decks, but they do not want to face jank decks. for a uh, thing to come through because this is a lot of people playing right now Oh, sweet. One more buck in there. Sweet thing is working. Cool. Getting people join popper events. This guy is one who wants to play buddies. I don't have any buddies on Popper, unfortunately. I feel pretty good about this deck, though. I think it has some strengths that uh, Red St or Green Stompy doesn't. It has a few strengths that White Heroic doesn't. Um, so, here we go. We got a game going. I play at Rags the Riches a lot since I live in Seattle, and that's the local Card Kingdom uh, Popper event. Um, ooh, this is a risky hand. Ooh, I'm gonna keep this.
let's see if I let's see if I suffer from taking this. If we get a land, we can go turn two, burning Orkish. Okay, let's. Nope. Okay, we're gonna keep uh, mana up. We can't do anything on turn one anyhow. Hopefully, they play something that's multiple. This may be against Stompy. They don't have a turn one play. Ooh, it's Infect. Okay, even better. Bye. Thank God. And yeah, we're just gonna Hellraiser this turn. We wanna have a few blockers. We can infer the bed in next turn anyhow. We're just gonna, cause we could get four damage in there, but I'd rather have more creatures on board. Giant growth. Oh, okay. Well, we'll just swing with uh, burning tree. See if he decides he wants to block and or get in or not. Light Mamba, huh? Cool little snake. Little little snakey boy. What else are you doing? Alt scourge? I saw him play life. Oh, okay. Let's see. Does he have it then? I can't block. That's illegal. Nope, he does not have it. He wasted his... Against a red deck? Interesting. Okay, we're gonna do this just because we want more uh, colors on the board. And what's a better blocker? Yeah, we're just gonna go for damage. Put on the Hellraiser and swing in with this. Doing five each turn seems pretty sweet. Fortunately, Vault Scourge does not remove your infect tokens. Oh, that'd be great. A creature that if you attack with you lose infect tokens. Be a good commander product. Even though Rosewater hates that, I mean, come on. Infect is too good. <laughs> it's a great mechanic, but Leeches was an okay design. Don't make it a sorcery, don't make it an instant, just make it a creature that has to attack. It forces combat. And we are trading. We're taking one poison here. This could be lethal, I don't know. What, he needs to do eight, so he needs to do giant growth to six. That'll do five. Mutagenic's a good start. So here we go, we got three damage, so we need five more. Can you do five more? Four. Wait, what? Did I count wrong? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I counted wrong. Shoot. I'm an idiot. Okay. We just get in as fast as we can. Grappler is amazing here. Grappler's so good. We're gonna take out Marker Fury. Uh, no, they're blockers. We wanna keep one in. Okay, so we'll take out. Madcap skills is kind of my 
if I can get an end card, but it's honestly not the best card in the deck. Uh. So this should be enough. Maybe I should have blocked with the Vault Scourge, but I wanted to be able to offer lethal next turn. And having the 3 plus 5, it will be an 8 now. We wouldn't have had it. No, we need a land. We need a hand. Yeah, there we go. This is better. Much better. Uh, I think we keep creatures. We just turn one play. Try to bolt anything he plays out. seen infect in a while that's an interesting deck tournament practice is kind of cool because you get to see all the jank people don't play in the leagues uh because there's a lot of decks that are just not tier one and leagues are kind of for grinders i'm perfectly fine playing leagues but you definitely see a lot more grinder decks Listener Elf, nice. We're gonna play the Echo. Yee. We're just gonna swing in. I have no fear of him at all right now. Maybe I do have a fear of him. Nah, we'll wait for him to do his things. We'll waste his cards. We can bolt and then we trigger in response if he tries the vines. Is that good enough? I think we just let trigger this. Decide wants to vines or do something else. Whatever he does, uh, we basically wasted a lot of his cards. He may still have a creature, but um, I got wearing Carver's hand and an aggressive elf, so and he has no mana now. <laughs> keep this mana in hand just to offer maybe that I have something else so he doesn't go all out. Wow, he just takes it. That's interesting. Does he plan to win this plant? Cycling. That's a good sign. Get your clock's on, buddy. I have enough creatures. Seal of strength. Okay, so he's probably going to plant seal of strength us. Which means he's uh, offering take six. And I win the game because he gives up. Cool. Uh, any changes? No. Have more creatures than he does. That's all I can hope for. I guess we actually don't technically need these. We can take out one for madcap skills. Uh. Hmm. Nah, because we want to have um, Grappler be big if we can't help it. Grappler being big is more important than having madcap skills, and I don't want to draw that we have a Grappler without a madcap skills. Or without a 2-2 um, two -two buffer, because then it's just a trade, and that trade's not good. Two bolts, yeah, we'll keep this hand. Okay, since we can't kill it this turn, we're just going to play this Forgotten Cave and let him have it. Uh, we need Double Bolt to kill any creature. <sighs> okay. Wow. Buddy, you 
not gonna have a good time. So one thing he can do is he can vines on my grappler. Uh, which if he wants to do is fucking amazing. I hope he does it. But on his turn, we're probably gonna bolt bolt. Just kill creature. Make him waste a seal strength. If it's a turn, if it's a two mana card though, we get it, so. Wow, nothing, okay. So we're gonna war paint the grappler. Let's see if he puts a nope. Okay. I guess he's trying to have unlimited stuff, so we can just go off. But I hope he knows grappler is gonna be really good against him. Seal of strength is not gonna be so good. Okay, so new plan. I'm gonna try to win next turn. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, it's twelve on board. He has to play a creature this turn. Oh, okay. Or he can storm. But the storm's a nice card in the par format. Do you keep a hand based on having weather the storm? What offers the most damage this turn? Squash Ball can even make that a 4-4. 4, 4. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, hmm. I think Squash Buckling on Burning Tree is a better plan. It's going to be the bit bigger and we have more damage on board. I think I provoke the Rot Wolf and try to bolt bolt it. Spawn's bolt. Response Bolt. Now, if he has a third spell, he can keep it alive. But he's not going to get to 20 that easily with three cards in hand. You you lost from doing that, buddy. You I have seven on board. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think, uh, Provoke doesn't work. Oh, wow, it still works. He didn't respond to Provoke. He did it after Provoke went through. So even though he has protection, he has to block it. He made a mistake. He should have played Apostle's Blessing first before the Provoke trigger went on the stack. Okay, well, he loses the game because that's seven. I don't think I know that mechanic either, so... Provoke is only on like four popper legal cards. <sighs> Good games. Uh, popper's fun. Fun-ass format. 
Oh, same guy. Okay, I'm gonna try more matches if he wants to play me again. Hmm. I know what he's on. I'm gonna try it. We already won one match, so we'll, we'll try this hand and see how good it is. If we can go faster than him, I don't think it's... It's hard to go faster than Infect, though. But we have turn one plays, he doesn't. I think we just make a really big Hoplite. That's the way we beat him. Because going wide with our Crowans means he can block. So we Hoplite, Swashbuckling, Swashbuckling. That gets a 7-7, seven, seven, so that's like a two turn four clock. Oh, he's playing he now he's playing okay, did he switch decks? This is the same guy, right? Okay, buddy. Let's see on let's see if I'm faster. So I'm not sure if red deck wins play or uh, red stomp or this isn't red stompy, but is it red stompy? I don't know what they call this deck. I don't know if it plays a uh, plays lightning bolts, but uh, that's the reason we played fair the bidding on him because we want to have a creature and have a lightning bolt up. Just gonna keep offering big creatures. You can block every turn. Keep your account low, keep my account high. That's all I gotta do. Cause now I can mock a fury on next turn. This may get a conceit out of him because you'll see I've, I have more creatures than he does. With this deck, I basically have a one mana stomp every turn. Dash. Burning tree. Nice. Nice. You got a Hellraiser too. Which means we are going to have to swash buckling onto the Seder Hoplite next turn. Or he'll attack and I don't have to do jack shit. Yeah, I don't want to do anything. I just play this guy out. didn't attack, I would have to put that on there, but I don't have to do that. Orcish Hellraiser is a really good card, though. I like it a lot. And he was, I almost want to try it in Burn, too, because Keldon Marauders doesn't do as damage as fast as Hellraiser can. Okay, so now he has 7 on board. But this is a really good trade for me, so I don't know why you're doing this. damage each turn. And I guess he doesn't have any bolts because I would be bolting those crusaders as quick as I could if I was him. I 
guess he can't block though, can he? Yeah, I can't block alone. I can just kill his guys all I want. God, having two Malcolm Furies is really sick. I think I just went for everything. This is a game winning play. Did you see it? Does he see that I can win? He got a fire blast. Uh, everything he has in deck is 2 2, so Electricity doesn't do jack shit. Ginger Brute is a little faster. I can block and put these in, so I guess we put a few Ginger Brutes in. Grappler is also really good, though. Keep forgetting that. Grappler is less good because he's going to be swinging every turn anyhow. Nah, we just want to go faster. I'm not going to even worry about putting Ginger Brutes in. I don't think he's going to have any burn. And he's not going to shoot in my face if he does, so. Oh, yeah. Uh, a Vault Scourge of Straw Swashbuckling and Further Bid on the Air is a hella good against this kind of deck. He's going to be trying to shoot shoot, um, shoot at the ground every turn. We're not going to play that game. We're going to make things big in the air. That's the... We can't play that turn if we want to do that. Yeah. We're just going to have to risk him bolting it. We may just Crusader War Marker Fury turn two though, because turn three you can put both these on them at the same time. And if he's just gonna if he's just gonna swing out every turn, we're gonna gain all that life back on Vault Scourge anyhow. So yeah, we'll just turn two, we're gonna keep Vault Scourge on on big because we don't wanna get a bolt in response and we wanna make him bigger in one turn. We're not gonna lose this next turn. So um Crusader. Marker Fairy, he's probably gonna tap out anyhow. If he taps out, when we do good. Uh, if he doesn't tap out, we have to be a little more crazy. We'll get him with two. We don't want Crusader to block anyhow. And let's see if he taps out here. I'm not sure if um Red Deck Wins plays any uh. What are they called? Fire blasts. Tapped out. Uh, oh, that's the one card. He got it. So that's the reason for not doing what I was planning to do. Oh, uh, what a what a freaking blowout. Okay, be wary of Black Trickery, because we can't use it, but he definitely can. Yeah, sure, let's do it. Play it back. No. You should never play Chain Lightnings. I just wanted to do it for the sake of doing it. Okay, now we have a big Arcoran Crusader that we can get more tokens every turn. So he could have another like, trickery and swing in for us, but we're just going to make more tokens next turn anyhow. I don't know if that's going to win this the game. Uh, that ball, that freaking like, trickery was a real... And he has Fire Blast. Wow, he did it. Okay. Does he have it this turn then? Does he have electricity like, land? Bolt? 
Goblin grenade. Sick. Okay. Uh, we gotta make our guys bigger. Yeah, we definitely put in ginger boots now. Um. Yeah, grapplers. Grapplers aren't good. We're taking grapplers out. He's never gonna attack with them. Ginger boots can win us the game if that happens again. That was sick. That was a sick play. No, 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 no. Yeah, sure, we'll try it. I don't think we even want a bolt in this situation. Bolt's bad here. Man, he has a, he has as much burn as I do, so I don't know if we can win this. play this this turn I'm not gonna get fire I'm not gonna get a uh... oh, wait I don't have to do that I'm stupid I guess I could have gone with the... oh, man I should have gone with the soldier too yeah let's offer let's offer him to trade it foundry can get pretty big Yeah, trade this, uh, trade this shit. This can still get carbon grenaded, but uh, that's pretty good tempo for us. Play Hoplite. We're just going for going for one here. Cause Warpaint on that thing it makes it a four four. He's probably gonna tap out to I guess he could like trickery on us, so maybe that's a bad play. Nah, I'm not gonna do it. I don't wanna waste our like like uh um, lightning bolt on him. War paint on this is better. Let's see if we can get him to take as much damage as we possibly can. We'll keep this soldier up for a blocker. With him being at 7, that means if we get one attack in, that means it's basically game. <laughs> Again? Okay. I'm fine with that. Hellraiser is pretty much just as good in this situation. Now we just win with this. Get him down to six. He bolts this, takes two, goes down to four. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, yep, that's what I wanted. And I think we win the game now. And I'm glad I didn't waste the bolt there. And bolt you. Six cards in hand. I guess he only had one mana, though. Okay, um, that was pretty good. We won majority of our matches this time. Um, I didn't face any of uh, Tron or any big ones. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good about this deck with all these jank matches, at least. Against real decks like um, Boros and stuff, I don't know if we're going to have as good of a time. But um, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy this deck plays. It's a pretty sweet deck, I think. Uh, I'll probably make the next Rex to Riches at least. But um, I'll probably play later this weekend. Um, my channel also does Dark Souls streams. So um, if I'm feeling up to it, maybe I'll do Dark Souls on Friday or something like that. Um, actually, I probably won't. I'm probably going to do other stuff on Friday. But um, maybe sometime next week or something like that, I'll do a, a league with this deck. Maybe on Sunday or something. 
Uh, it's a fun ass deck. It's really cool. Um, I don't know how competitive it is against actual decks, but I feel like we have a pretty good elves matchup. Our stompy matchup against green is pretty good. Against that red deck wins deck, we just did pretty well. Boros is our is our troublesome and. Depending on the draw, um, Mono Black can be either the best matchup in the world or the worst matchup in the world. Uh, player draw on that is really a flip of a coin because they have so many sacrifice effects, but us having Burning Tree, Burning Tree, Burning Tree into something or Burning Tree into anything, um, two creatures especially with a Vault Scourge, means that we have a huge advantage over that deck. Um, but we need to have those cards. We can't draw our enchantments. So, thanks for everyone watching tonight. I had really fun streaming. Uh, follow me on Twitter for me talking about magic or other bullshit. Um, I'm also, like I said, on here on Twitch. Um, and uh, catch me later. Follow me if you want to see more magic matches. Follow me if you want to see more Dark Souls. So, have a great night, everyone. Um, hope you have a good one. And uh, for celebration, I'm going to send you three little church grims. There you go. Church grims in chat. Okay. Have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Bye.